Today, I'm going to show y'all how to dismount a tire without breaking the sensor or damaging the wheel. Notice how I have the valve skin at 12 o'clock because the sensor is in there behind the valve stem. Okay, you can also put it at six o'clock. It will not damage the sensor. Now, the wrong way to do it is if you put it, for example, at three o'clock, the shovel is going to break your sensor. By the way, for those of y'all who are new to the channel, my name is Mike. And I've been working with tires and wheels for 30 years. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn about tires and wheels from me. Now that we have the front broken, we're going to break the back bead. When you're breaking the back, you don't have to worry about where the sensor is because the shovel will not touch it. Okay. You have to make sure you break all the back because we are going to clamp from the outside. I want to right quick talk about my gloves, okay? These gloves that I'm wearing, I've been wearing these kind of gloves for a long time. I love them. This is why you can grip the tire. They can get wet and your hands are not going to get wet. They come in a pack of 12 pairs. And what I do is I use the 11 pairs. At the 11 pair, I put them away, I wash them and I reuse them. And they'll usually last me like three to four months. Notice how we clamp, how we broke the wheel from the back because we're going to clamp from the outside, not the inside. Some wheels are real nice. Some of them already have been damaged. We will not damage nobody's wheel more than it already is. The customer is not here for a life changing experience. Now we're going to set it on the machine. Set the machine like that, the way I set it. To lift up the tire, it's always good to lift it up with three parts of your body. Your leg, your arms, and your back. Bang. Set it. Notice how we clamp from the inside. You don't want to clamp from these things right here, the pointers right there. They get old, worn out, and the tire could jump off the machine and hurt somebody. I'm going to take the wheel off so I can show y'all how it damages the wheel. This part right here clamps onto the wheel and it damages the wheel. And if it's a real nice wheel, the customer is not going to be happy at all. Okay, now we have the wheel clamped from the outside and we're going to dismount the tire. We're going to use this helper right here to bring the tire down because we're going to loop the tire. The loop is very important is one of the most important parts of dismounting the tire. Why? Because it's gonna help extend the life of your machine and it's also gonna help so that the bead will not get torn up. It's very important that the bead on the tire does not get torn or broken. The bead can never be repaired. What happens when you have a broken bead? You can have a blowout you can have a mystery leak, or it can also cause a knot on the tire. We're going to dismount the tire. Notice how I have the valve stem at 6 o'clock, right under the head of the machine. That's going to help it that you don't catch it over here when you're taking the tire off. It won't catch the valve stem. Before I continue, I don't care how scratched the wheel is, how bad it is. I don't want to scratch the wheel more than what it is. So what I do is I use scratch resistant tape. Here it is. Put it on the bar. It's not going to scratch the wheel. Now, I'm going to set the bar in here. Bring up your roller. Bring it back. Bang. You want to bring back the valve stem under, back under the head. Help the tire just a little bit. There it is. The tire dismounted without destroying, damaging the sensor.
And if you like our video, if you like what we're showing y'all, give us a comment, give us a like, subscribe. We will making some more, be making some more videos for you. Thank you.